Hey guys, and yes, in case you're wondering, I am on my bed, just relaxing and trading at the same time. But uh, <clears throat> I'd like to bring you another Bitcoin update. Um, this one's going to be a really good one, have some pretty good info for y'all. Um, but let's get started. All right, so <clears throat> what we have here, this is the one hour chart. Um, it, there's been a long squeeze. I, I don't know if y'all y'all should be able to see that. All right, let's get let's get this started. So, <clears throat> huge squeeze on the one hour chart, looking very bullish. In fact, we actually tried to break. We actually tried to break out of this squeeze earlier before the daily chart closed, and it got rejected that the bears are really trying to fight back but they're gonna eventually lose because everything that's happening in bitcoin right now is very bullish even the indicators look at this to me that that looks i mean this can break any moment now it it could probably break while we're asleep tonight but uh if we look on zoom out even more right I said before that there was a chance that we could retest this uh, 52k level, right? That was back here. Right? Things do change. We've held, we've held this support right here, the 53,500 level. We've held that support pretty well, and we've been moving sideways since, you know. And right now our median line this orange line right here is actually going above our support level of 52k it's actually going above that now and this trend right here this sideways action has gone pretty long to where now the likelihood of us retesting 52k is becoming slimmer and slimmer so that's what i'm seeing right now um i mean you can draw trend lines here any way you want let's say right here right and then go do that right and then draw another trend line up here let's start with this one the top here okay top of that spike and then at least three touch points those are three touch points right there looking pretty good we can even draw it down here if you want yeah, because I don't count that one big spike. Let's draw it down here, right? So, that looks like somewhat of a bull flag. You know, it is pointing up just a little bit, but still, as somewhat of a bull flag, um, you can even zoom in, right? And we can even argue and draw it like this. If we zoom in, more touch points that becomes an ascending triangle right there right so either way that's bullish and also look at the two hour chart it's also in a squeeze as well and if that really is i mean it does actually it's more of a ascending triangle than it was when i drew it earlier with those three touch point i actually like this ascending triangle better um has a higher probability of it being an ascending triangle and also look at that squeeze right there where are we again in the bollinger squeeze are we at the bottom no we are not at the bottom part of the bollinger we are at the top part of the bollinger and what happens when this thing separates out right the candlestick follows the top bollinger if we were down here then it would have been bad news that the candle will follow the bottom bollinger when it bubbles out but no what we see here it's another round two to hit our 58k uh we saw it over here right with that bonder we broke out formed the squeeze here did a short break broke out again and created another bubble and now we're squeezing again and guess what's gonna happen once we break this ascending triangle up once we break this ascending triangle up and confirm a close on a two hour there's a very high probability that we're just going to go straight up to 58k right here. It's 58k right there. Right? That's my target. Still my target. Um, zoom out more in the 4 hour. 
as you can see it is pretty clear if we zoom out on the daily it gets even more clear check this out look at that beautiful ascending triangle right there you see it do y'all see that and also if we take these lines out so we can see it even more clear Hold on let me take the yellow my yellow lines out look what's happening to the Bollinger Band right Remember a few days ago when I made that video, we were still here at the squeeze. And I told y'all, once this squeeze starts to widen, the candle will follow the top band because we're on the top part, right? This right here, I, I remember that I told y'all this scared me, but that was it, that was actually a bear trap, if, if, in my opinion. And also, we W'd out of it, right? And now we're here and this Bollinger is a gradual spread, right? Which is actually very bullish. The more gradual we spread, the higher the target is, right? Because if we don't, if we, if, if we spread really fast, then the retracement back is really fast as well. Kind of like what happened here. This dip was sudden. It wasn't gradual. It was sudden. So what happened? We bounced, bounced, and also we recovered pretty sudden, right? Which made uh, that cup and handle pattern that I talked about, right? Um, yeah, right here, that cup and handle pattern that I talked about. <clears throat> sudden, sudden wave down, then we consolidated, and then we made a sudden wave up. Um, this is the daily chart. If we zoom out, it... it that's considered sudden on the daily chart but of course obviously this was uh from what from may to to now right from may to september but still you get my point uh according to the bollinger the that dip right here was sudden this rise we're seeing here is not a sudden rise it's not a parabolic move per se Right, so which is a good healthy move. If we're gradually going up, then this is this move up has a long way to go. Right? I actually prefer a slow widening of this bollinger than a sudden bubble, right? So that's what we're seeing. And look, that that looks like that looks a lot like a ascending triangle to me if we zoom out, right? So that's very bullish. Everything's looking bullish. Now we go to the weekly look at this we closed for the first time for the first time since may for the first first time since may 3rd may 10th may 3rd we closed a weekly candle guys this is a weekly candle meaning the price action per candle is one week's worth we closed above for the first time since May, above the 52K level on the weekly. This is huge, guys. What was once resistant becomes support on a weekly chart. So, and also the Bollinger is looking very bullish here too, right? If you draw this, I always like to look at this uh, Bollinger trend here. If we go like this, all right, just draw the top part of the Bollinger, right? And then draw the bottom part of the Bollinger right here, which is going up like that. Guys, that is a giant ascending triangle on the Bollinger band, okay? That's bullish to me as well. Um, this is a pattern that I've noticed with through the years of trading with the Bollinger band. Uh, not a lot of people talk about it, but this is a bullish bubble pattern right here when the bollinger looks like that it's a giant ascending triangle higher probability of us breaking to the upside once this thing breaks and again this is the weekly chart so us breaking tomorrow on this weekly chart meaning i'm going a parabolic move is highly unlikely right we could see we could see this you know go sideways on the weekly go this is considered sideways but we're talking about a 55 to 60k to 55 to 60 
5k move here but on the weekly we could see a week or so maybe you know going to the 62k level 65k level back down to the you know 58k level back up to the 65k level we could actually see that uh until november middle no mid of november before we actually break up because when we break up when we break this right when we break that that's when we go to the 100k level it's just right there when we break that that's i mean come on guys i'm so excited about this this is amazing ah been waiting waiting for it but it's happening you know high very high probability that we will reach 100k or more by december you know it's very possible i wouldn't be surprised if we actually reach 150k before january i wouldn't be surprised at all but um that's what i see i will stick to that higher probability of us going up than going down to back to what 35 36k like some people are actually talking about no um everything's looking good looking bullish also what i did see here too let me see was it on the four hour was it yeah it was a it was what do you call that it was a while back maybe uh yesterday i did see this w pattern right there right playing out so that's also a bullish sign everything is just pointing bullish but that w pattern i like the ascending triangle more now that w patterns that kind of got prolonged and we're over here now way out here so i'm gonna stick to the ascending triangle that i saw and it's very visible on the one day chart that ascending triangle okay so that's what i have and also i have a little video clip with um let me see <clears throat> yeah so that's what i have so um i also have a clip with mike novogratz um he is a ex uh hedge fund manager okay and he also is a ceo of a uh, cryptocurrency investment and just listen to what he has to say about the coming months with bitcoin okay i'll play it right now i have two video clips of that hold on one second also he talks about gold too uh how people that are investing in gold are now shifting to bitcoin and that's why gold has been kind of stagnant but i st i'm still bullish on gold this is, i mean gold has never moved you know fast anyways but it for if you want a safe investment you know gold's always pretty good gold and silver in my opinion i mean they're just gonna move up i mean they're not gonna go up as fast as cryptocurrency but long term year five ten years from now it's gonna be it's gonna be up from where it is now but here's mike novogratz let's listen to what he has in, in the next uh two three four months that we're not uh, we're not anticipating f f for crypto. I mean, it, it could be China. It could be more companies uh, adopting it, more fintech moves. What What do you think is going to going to happen that that's going to dictate the movement? Where do you think we'll be in three six months? So I, it, not to sound like the the ever bullish guy that I sometimes am accused of being, uh, but I literally see a scenario where we take out the highs in Bitcoin. And we have one of these parabolic moves in all the crypto going into the fourth quarter. A little bit, it's like when you go to the Kentucky Derby, the horse that turns the corner at the end always runs the fastest. Uh, in investing, in hedge fund investing, and remember, you know, my 12 years of running the, the macro fund, uh, the assets that are ahead in the fourth quarter usually have great finishes because everyone piles on and pushes the valuations higher. And I see that happening right now. I see this confluence event where the surprise will be, oh my goodness, how do we get to 80,000? How do we get to 100,000? How do we get to you know, 5,000 in Ethereum? Um, that will be the surprise. We've pushed a lot to the downside. We've thrown China, we've thrown regulation, uh, and the market continues to hold, and it's holding because just new money coming in. There was $17 billion of new venture capital that went in the first half of the year. Uh, it's just a tremendous inflow of both talent and money. 
in, in the next uh, two, three, four months that we're not uh, we're not anticipating. All right, there you have it. That's Mike Novogratz talking about in the coming months, right? It's it's just going to be great. Uh, I mean, everything's looking bullish. Now, here's another clip of Mike Novogratz talking about gold and how Bitcoin can definitely, definitely have a you know wealth ship from gold, people investing in gold to Bitcoin and actually have a market cap of similar market cap of of gold which that which will bring us i mean all we need so remember gold has an 11 trillion dollar market cap all we need is less than half of that like five trillion in in bitcoin five trillion market cap will put us to 250k but if we can match gold's market cap of 11 trillion come on that's when we see that's when we see half a million per coin but here uh, I'll just let you listen to Mike Novogratz. Here we go. Gold go to? Does gold go along for the ride or is it displaced by this? I think gold is getting displaced quietly. Um, you know, gold was 1750 when Bitcoin got launched and it's 1750 today. Uh, and, and so early in the year, I had a decent portion of my PA in gold and I finally just kind of gave up on it. Uh, I think people that were buying gold are buying Bitcoin. And, you know, we're still only 12% of gold. Uh, maybe my math's off by a percent or two. Um, and so I think there's a long way in this replacement trade. It's just interesting if you, if you view it differently. And I, I think you could read a thousand pages on what money is, but you do get to the notion that it's, it's a ledger. And what you really need is something that, that represents that ledger. And gold represented it well because it was immutable and scarce and pretty and in jewelry. It represented it for a long time. But you get a lot of those same attributes uh, with, with Bitcoin and some of them even better because you can't obviously send gold across borders, uh, you know, through a, you know, through space. So it is, you know. So the last thing I can say is what people forget in the U.S., right? People watch your show in the U.S. and it's mostly U.S. stocks. Uh, Crypto is global. It's the first global asset class we've really had, where it's more important to people in Nigeria than it is to people in the United States. But it's right. it, almost all over the world, people are having these conversations. And I, right. was, I was remembered that this morning when I logged into 4,000 people in London. All right, so there you have it, guys. They said, I, I quote, they said, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is has the same attributes of gold, if not even better, because you can send Bitcoin and crypto across borders through space. You can't do that with gold, right? And also, um, what was that? Like Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, Mike Novogratz said, it is the first asset class that is go global. It is the first global asset that we have. Very revolutionary. Crypto and Bitcoin is here to stay. Just keep stacking. Um, it's a great time to be alive if you're in crypto. So that's all I have for tonight. And happy trading. Peace out till next time.